Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we have our subscriber base review number 4, Town Hall 6, as requested about 2 weeks ago. Well, I'm going to start off with Dictator. At the end I'll tell you how to sign up for the next subscriber base review, as well as have a poll for which Town Hall I should do next. Anyways, I got Dictator here, level 31 with 1042 trophies, and looks like he is in Silver 2. Alright, we're going to start here with his defenses first though his question is what should he upgrade next and first i'm going to say that that would be his air defense now let me talk about some other stuff before i say why um his max level for his mortars and wizard tower or mortars is uh, level four and wizard towers is level three now my policy is always that you upgrade your defenses one level before they're maxed out and move on to something else so as we see mortars are level three okay that's one level before four okay move on wizard towers is my second one Okay, they're good. Uh, next, I would say Archer Towers. Now, he needs some work on the Archer Towers, but they're not the next thing that he should upgrade. And I'll talk about why. Uh, so, the Archer Towers on his Town Hall 7. No, no, not, not Town Hall 7. Town Hall 6 can go up to level 7. And they're level 5, so let's see. I think they're all level 5s. Yes, they're all level 5s, and he's got three of them. As far as I can tell, yeah. He's got three of them, and um, they can go up to level 7, so I would for sure, after the air defense, work on those archer towers. Get them to level 6, for sure. And after you get your archer towers, looks like you're actually doing your cannons right now, and this one's going to be level 6, this one's going to be level 6. I think that's good, so right after your cannons are done, do your air defense, right? Get that up to level, let's see, your max level is 4, and yours is 1. Okay, I would for sure get it to level 2, right? Get it to level 2, and then move on to your archer towers, because realistically you should do archer towers first, but I recommend the air defense, because it's quite low. I mean, it's only 80 damage per second, and that's not a lot. Even though you're not that high in trophy counts, I would really suggest getting it up, because even though you're not high in the trophy counts, you're using a bunch of balloons here, so uh, imagine somebody attacking your base with balloons, and um, yeah, that could cause some problems with just level 1 air defense. Um, now, as for your layout, I really... It's, it's hard, it's difficult for me to change you guys' layouts, so I'm just going to comment on what you already have set up here. So you're not farming, you're, this is, might be a hybrid base, not really though, because your storages are quite on the outside. So I'm going to guess this is a trophy hunting base, although you're not that high in the trophy count. I mean, I would expect you to be at least at 1,200, 300 or so for your town hall level. But anyways, um... I like the way you're positioned your wizards, they cover both the gold storage, or both gold storages, and then this wizard here covers this um, elixir storage. Um, let me see, so it partially covers this one, but I guess you, you don't really have to worry about it, it's not necessarily to cover both. Um, it's just suggested, but I'm not going to move anything around. The only thing that I would suggest switching around though is that, see how you have your archer here, and then your cannon here? And then you have two archers here. I I would like you to kind of create a pattern. So I would say archer, cannon, archer, cannon. Take um take this cannon and this archer and swap them around. That way your pattern pa uh, pattern will be archer, cannon, archer, cannon, archer, cannon. That way you make sure you have a large range, small range, large range, small range. Here you have a gigantic range, right? But here you have a smaller range, and you don't really cover um. People get a free uh, free kill on your army camps here with archers, right? Even barbarians. Even barbarians will be probably able to hit it uh, if placed correctly. Um, now, my policies are different for farming and trophy hunting bases. For trophy hunting, I would always say push your buildings as close as possible to the walls. For farming, I have the exact opposite policy to push them as far back as and um, that would be two spaces away from the walls so that the wall breakers won't be able to have such an easy path and giants um, your, your uh, defense can get a head start on giants and stuff like that um, otherwise yeah I'll greet your uh, air defense and since you do have your army here I'm gonna review it as well because it's kind of part of the base and then I like doing that as well so it is full you have 120 uh, spaces here I'm not sure what your max is but I'm gonna guess that is your max and let's see, you have 14 level 3 balloons. Now, your army can go only up to level 3, so that's good. You got your army complete. I can't really just judge your, like, giants and stuff, because, I mean, they're not trained up or anything. But I'm going to guess you pretty much have everything maxed out for your army. So, let's see, 14 balloons, 30 archers, and 20 barbs. Very interesting. I'm going to guess you put barbs for the meat shield, archers to take out the air defense or defenses, and then you mass balloon on one side. Maybe you mass balloon on two sides. 
I probably would have mass balloon on all four sides. I would just go with two sides or even one side. Um, since the air defense can't cause a splash damage, yeah, I would even recommend one side if you do attack that way. So that you have the maximum damage per second on a building. They get taken out fast instead of having them spread out and getting killed by um, all the archer towers and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, very nice base. I'll get your air defense and I hope you guys learned something from this base. Let's move on to our next person. Alright, here we have Noah with 1,193 trophies, and he's an insane city, he's the leader of that clan, pretty good, pretty good for him at his level here. And let's get started, so pretty much what he's asking is, should he upgrade his walls to level 7, he currently has level 5, before, sorry, not 7, level 6 walls, should he upgrade his walls to level 6 before moving on to Town Hall 7? Well, what I'm going to say is that the walls, they're not the most important things in the game. Believe it or not, they're not the most important. You can really dump a lot of gems and a lot of money into them, like real money, but I don't think they're all that important. And the reason is, is realistically, people will bring 5 to 10 wall breakers, and just because you have the most upgraded walls doesn't mean that um, everything else is just nothing. Uh, your defenses, your uh, archer towers, cannons, mortars, wizards, expos, teslas, they'll take care of that. They, they really will. Um, if you set the teslas in the proper spots, they can even prevent wall breakers from even getting close to the walls. Anyways, pretty much what I'm going to say is no, you do not have to. If you wish to, that would be great. And the reason is, if you do wish, if you do want to be an overachiever and do that, you can because the higher you get in um, town halls, the more it costs to search and the less loot you get. Because usually when you're town hall 6, if you hit a town hall 7, you have a 200% um, loot. So you can write 200% more than a town hall 7 versus a town hall 7 would. If you're a town hall 6 versus town hall 7, that's 200% boost. If you get a town hall 8, I don't. I, I think if that's still a 200% boost. I don't even know if you can hit a town hall 8 while being a town hall 7 or 6, excuse me. So anyways, yes, I would recommend, but no, you do not have to. You can move on to town hall 7. Uh, as looking at your defenses, they're fairly maxed out. I mean, almost everything's maxed out. I see you got your last archer tower going to level 7. Otherwise, everything else looks like 7. Oh, well, you got that one right there. Yeah, certainly. Um, your your uh, cannons, let's see, they're all 7s, right? Uh, air defense, certainly go to level 4. Again, you get more loot at lower town hall levels than higher town hall levels. So, yes, I would go with the defenses for sure before you upgrade to your... Uh, to, you can start the upgrade to town hall 7, but not un until your last um, level of your last defense is um, has begun upgrading. See, how many builders do you have? I see one, two... You have a third one, and you do have a third one. You have a fourth one and a fifth one. No, you don't. Uh, that's pretty good, yeah. So you can start the upgrade to Hall 7 after you start the upgrade to your last level of your last defense. So what I mean by that is once you have everything here upgraded, you can go ahead and, for example, uh, once you get to level 3 air defense and you start upgrade to level 4, you got everything maxed out, go ahead and start the upgrade to Hall seven unless you want to do your walls that will take a while i'm gonna guess that will take about half a month if you're a hardcore farmer and this is i'm gonna call this a hybrid base because this one actually here is somewhat protective of the resources we can see the the wizard and the mortar they have a pretty fair range of protecting that gold storage as well as this side i really do like this base i guess it works very good um i do wish there would be some ways that supercell would make uh me be able to not just me i mean everybody be able to view the uh, losses or wins for the base and just overall how it has done but I guess they would breach some privacy issues or something like that I don't know I'm not a lawyer whatsoever anyways yeah uh, so yeah your question should you go to level 6 walls you could you should but you don't have to anyways that has been Noah oh wait a second how about the army haha <laughs> Uh, okay, level 3s, I'm going to guess that's maxed out. So yeah, anyways, thanks Noah. I hope you guys learned some suggestions suggestions from this as well. Let's move on to our next base. Alright, so now we have Sire Matt at 1,183 trophies and level 38. And he's asking what should he improve on. Well, first of, uh, first of all, this base is again uh, very close to the defenses. The level of the defenses are very close to our last base, except uh, looks like it's um, almost maxed out. Not there, not quite there yet. Uh, the cannons are all maxed out. The arch towers are all one level before being maxed out. The mortars are maxed out. One of the wizards is maxed out. The other one is, let's see, is going to be maxed out. Uh, I wish they could show the amount of days is left um, on on the defenses that are upgrading. That would be very helpful. 
And this, uh, man, I have tough decisions with like hy hybrid bases and trophy hunting. So I'm going to guess since you have your uh, all storages in the middle uh, and a Tahoe in the center, I would have to guess this is another hybrid base. Uh, I love the way that your air defense is level 3 on like all the other bases. It's pretty maxed out. I mean, how much damage per second is it? Yeah, it's 140. I mean, my uh, defense at my base is a level 3 too, I think. Yeah, I think it's a 3. Uh, I keep it at 3 for now because I think uh, 140 damage per second is a pretty good damage per second. Especially at your trophy level, you don't really have to worry about being attacked by anything strong. So as for uh, this top portion, what really uh, came to my head is what you can improve on is... Currently, you probably have some graphics going on the screen because I don't have a uh, way to point out things uh, here, but I'm going to kind of try to explain it. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this wall here and move it in between these two. And you're going to take this wall right there and put it in between these two. What that will do is that creates a section of five walls. And what you're going to do with your spring traps now is you're going to put it one right there and one right there. There should be arrows on your screen, so that should explain it all. Um, again, this and this move to there and there. And then two spring traps, one right there and one right there. Uh, that would force goblins and even giants, uh, if they would go for these buildings here, uh, to go ahead and go around the wall and be activated by the spring traps. And then they would uh, lose max six giants, which is pretty good. Uh, that might be all their giants. Sometimes people bring only six giants, even five, uh, and they could lose them all if they don't deploy them correctly. Uh, this wall here, it's kind of sticking out. I don't know what to do with it. Uh, you know, let me see. Can we put it anywhere? Maybe section something off? No, you can't really do anything. I guess you can just leave it there or use it as a pushback point. For example, on this side, uh, take that wall away and put it like right there. All right, that will push uh, the spawn point back for the wall breakers, giants, and all the other troops, uh, which should be able to help you out. Now, uh, about your mortar position. So your mortars cover the top half pretty well, but the thing is this bottom half, as you see, the circle doesn't reach it. And that's what I'm a little worried about is that um, if I would actually attack this base, I would certainly attack right from this side because it doesn't get covered by splash. It does get covered by this. Well, see, not even that. Uh, so yeah, I would certainly attack from that side and um, let's see, how can you deter that? Ooh, got an idea. So what you're gonna do is um, take your, no, give me a second here. Yeah, take your wizard and mortar and switch them around. That will at least make this mortar go more out to this side. So yeah, wizard mortar, switch those two around. That should help. See, and then if you do that switch, will it still cover? Yeah, it would cover this one as well. So it cover gold in that. And then this wizard tower, once it's done upgrading, I would place it. And I would place it where the gold storage is. But where would the gold storage go? Mm, tough decision. Anyways, uh, yeah, do something with that wizard tower. But what you want to do right now is switch those two around. And then do the thing at the top that I told you with the walls. And that's going to be really it. Let's see, what do you have in the clan castle? So some barbs and some archers. I would I would recommend archers. Archers only. But, I mean, barbs are okay as well. They can take some damage when you um, when somebody's attacking you. Otherwise, I don't really have any recommendations for the base design. Although I do worry about how you have all this center core with a lot of resources that it can be broken through. Uh, but realistically, if you do want to look for a base to copy, you can go to my website. The link is in the description. I, ha I got bases on there, Town Hall. Uh, so far, it's 8, 7, and I think I had some 6. Soon will be 9 and more 6. But yeah, I'll play some base designs for Town Hall 6 right after this so you can go copy them because there are some pretty good base designs for Town Hall 6 that do work for hybrid trophy hunting or farming or all of the above. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be it with Sire Matt. Thank you for participating in this subscriber base review. Let's move on to the next base. Alrighty guys, we have King Dude 132 here, and he has 1,115 trophies, and he's a level 32. Now he's asking, is this a good hybrid base? Alright, so let's get started. First of all, the thing that really bothers me is the top half here, the walls. Uh, for your information, double walls can be penetrated by a single wall breaker, and in fact, a level 3 wall breaker will probably take that top half out, and that will expose your main core. That means the whatever the giants will go for the mortars. 
the mortars are down. Once the splash buildings are down, there's really nothing else to do. They're going to take all your loot, and they're going to destroy your town hall. So how do you fix this? Well, you take away all these double walls right up here. You don't, you do, you don't need that. Um, leave this joint right here. But starting this wall right here and starting this wall right here, take this entire top thing out. Uh, that will get you, let me see, so that would be one, two, so is that, is that, that's ten walls, right? Okay, so those ten walls you could use as a section for, let me see, ten walls. That would be probably good enough for, let me see, this is four, four. Uh, that looks like it's going to be good enough for, um, it's not going to be good enough for a section, darn it. Anyways, what I'm trying to point out here is that you should take out those walls and use them for something else. Maybe even pushing back the spawn point will work. Also, you really need to clean up your property here. You have a lot, a lot, a lot of obstacles. Uh, those obstacles can be spawned on, so they do not help your base whatsoever. In fact, if you remove them, you get gems. Not from every single one. You get experience points from every single one, but you will get gems from some of them. Anywhere from one to up to five gems, I believe. Um... That's kind of my range of what I usually get. Now, the other thing is, this, since this is a hybrid base, your clan castle isn't centralized. Uh, you really, really, really need to put that clan castle somewhere in the center. I do appreciate the fact that you have your air defense in the center, uh, and it's a level 3, so that's very good. But your mortars, uh, that's good. They're one level before being maxed out. Your wizard towers, uh, very good. Um, let me see, archer towers, good, and cannons, also good. Um, so yeah, I like the way you're arguing your defense, this is just your layout, you need to work on that a little bit, and clean up your property, I'm serious, do it. Let me see, how much elixir do you have? Oops, let me see, oh man, you got plenty of elixir, yeah, clean up that property, do it like all right now, right after this base review, once you see this video, go clean up your property. <laughs> um, yeah, you'll get a bunch of gems, I'm pretty sure you're gonna get some good, maybe even... See 76 gems from all this, maybe 100 gems. I don't know. That's pretty. That's pretty good amount of gems for your town hall level. Um, anyways, moving back to the point, is this a good hybrid base? So the only type, the top thing is not really good. And then I would certainly suggest actually taking one of those 10 walls and putting right, right in between the two here. Take out the push the gold storage farther up and put a wall to separate the main core because that's not really good. Um, this is your weakest point up on top of here. And then maybe even, uh, since you're going to section this off, put your clan castle and your gold storage together into one block. That's what I would suggest. And then obviously, since this is a hybrid base, you really need to put those uh, elixir collectors and everything else really close to the walls. So fill up this top section here between the clan castle and the army camp and uh, the gold mine and the, and the clan castle. Fill that up with buildings as close as possible to the walls. Put a building in between those two right there. Uh, put a building in between those two. Put a building between the elixir collector, collector and the stone. That really does make it harder for the wall breakers. And I do see you're trying to push some stuff out here with that wall right there. But yeah, uh, if you don't have a usage for those other walls, go ahead and make some pushback points. That will help. What I mean by pushback points, if you're not sure what I mean by that. Uh, each building, like this one, has uh, one... Uh, a one square radius of non spawn point and the walls have the same one square of non spawn point so place your walls right out here where, where there's a line a red line currently on your screen that's where I want you to place those walls uh, that would be an example for this side um, you know you could do it on any side as you want so is this a good hybrid base partially but not really you can work on it again you can check out that link bit lie bit bit bitly I don't know how you say it uh, bit dot ly forward slash hyper clans make sure you capitalize the H and the C because otherwise it doesn't work so again that's bit dot ly forward slash hyper clans click on base uh, base designs and you should find some good ones uh, anyways that's uh, going to be it with King Dude 132 as well as this is going to be it for this subscriber base review if you didn't make it this time don't worry um, I'll be repeating town halls. What I want you to do right now is listen up. So I'm changing the way I'm going to do my submissions. Um, the Google Drive thing works and it's kind of cool. But the thing is, today I went to at least 20 different uh, clans and I have not found many, many players. So out of these... I don't know, 30 clans that I went through, I only found four. Today, I think I had four uh, people that I reviewed. So again, uh, I know it doesn't work. There's some really, really old uh, base, base uh, submissions. So what I'm going to do now is, 
if you go ahead and use the link on your screen and the description, it's, uh, the link title is Duckster, and it's duckster.com forward slash maddensvinic forward slash clash of clans, and uh, you don't need to remember that it's in the description, so if you click that link, it's going to friend you to me. And what I'm going to do is uh, eventually I'm going to post some things on Duckster, like saying, hey, I'm doing a subscriber base review on Sunday or Saturday or Tuesday. Um, comment what type uh, what, or what town hall what should I do? And you're going to say town hall 7, 6, whatever you want to do I'll take them whatever the majority says and the next two days I will post another thing saying um, okay copy paste this and comment your clan uh, your name your clan trophies your clan members what should uh, what, what do you want me to talk about and stuff and everything like that so anyways everything will be happening on Duxter not Facebook or anything Duxter itself because I think Duxter is an actual really good platform for base reviews um, especially that you can submit bases on there too so that's really cool. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you drop a like as well as subscribe if you're not yet subscribed because this is a subscriber-based review and I'm fairly sure you want your base reviewed. And if you do want you want your base reviewed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's right there or right below this video on the right-hand side or the left-hand side. Depends whether you're on your PC or your um, iOS device. Depends. And that's going to be it, guys. Peace and clash on. Uh, you know what? I'm going to wait with the Clan Castle troops. Maybe we won't even need them because if we just get 50%, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and stop there. Alrighty. So as you see, this is why I deploy a bunch of archers. They get through the walls very fast. Uh, eh, man. That wizard tower. Don't fail me. Please. I'm on video. Hear me, those archers? Can't fail me. Hear that? My subscribers want to star on this. You got that? Understand that? Hmm?